Mataji, tip 12. What is craving? Ah, if we are suffering and we hear that the cause of the suffering is craving, it is reasonable to ask the question, what is this craving? Before we say how we can let go of it, we should know what it is. Craving shows up or manifests, craving manifests with tension and tightness in the mind and in the body. Craving is the I like it or the I don't like it mind. This was the simplest way for Bhante to express this when he was teaching it. And most of the people's faces would light up as I watched them. They suddenly understood this is the first personal opinion that occurs in the line of cognition. That's the line of dependent origination. When contact happens with a sense door and a sense door object and consciousness, then immediately feeling comes up. With feeling as condition, it is simply a feeling in the body, pleasant, painful, or neutral. Then craving comes up. And craving is the first personal opinion in that line of human cognition. It is the I like it or I don't like it mind. And the I like it mind changes into I want it mind, changes into attachment and clinging that comes after craving, holding on to it, thinking about it all the time, not wanting to let go of it even in the present time. So this is the craving, and craving has a heat in it. Craving has a heat that is beginning to get an energy that moves forward and keeps going to turn the wheel of samsara and spin its way into clinging and move through habitual tendencies, the bawa, and then have the birth of reaction and then cycle around and do that again and again, event after event after event. That's craving. Oh, now I know what the craving is. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.